Hello, Teddy. Hi. Are you excited? Yeah. So a long time ago, I showed Teddy and JD this game, Star Control 2. Which I was like, eight. Which, you were eight when I showed it to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that now was two 10. years ago. Now you're 10. So this is my favorite game, like, of all time. This is one of my yeah. favorite games. You played through it and beat it. I, it's got a great story. He defeated the Kazurza. The Kazurza? Mm -hmm. Is that who I beat? Yeah. I, don't even I don't even remember the story that well. I mean, I remember some elements of it, but it was like one of those games when, you know, when you're first playing video games and it's like this one was just an awesome one. It was actually yeah. like a couple of years into after I was, you know, steadily playing video games. This was 1992, I think. This game I came think out. Uh, it's Star Control 2. Some me. person uh, made this game and then it was bought by Atari. Is that right? I think. There's a company named Toys for Bob that made it. So anyway, Teddy was not that interested in it when we first saw it. But over time, he has become very interested in Star Control 2. Yeah, I was like, oh, cool. Look at this pterodactyl thing. Now, what do you like? I like it. Yeah, there you go. All right. So we're going to play Super Melee. Uh, should we play as a different thing? What like, do you mean? Like, we can, like, change different Yeah, ones. you can set your ships, set up our ships however you want. So uh, all the different races have all different ships. And then every ship has a primary weapon and a secondary weapon. I'm going to do ones that I haven't shown before. And then we recently got a mod for this thing uh, where we could get all new ships that were custom made by somebody who made a special mod for it. And I'm going to pick a random ship. Okay, so I am the crystal ship. I actually started with my probably my best ship I am in my whole fleet. You're, he is the Chinjesu. And, and I can send out these little doggies. Mm -hmm, that drain my, That's my secondary weapon. That drain my battery. That's like my weapon usage. And I got the Merm Herm. That's how you pronounce it. And like. And there's the planet. He oh. like, he like transforms it. into a jet that's really hard to turn. But he also transforms to this like. Um. How would I explain it? Uh, he transforms. Right. I got he, doggies on you now. He, he transforms into this thing. And it has really powerful lasers. I got four doggies out there. And if, they, like, if they start hitting him, they're gonna slow him down. Yes. And I can just start. Pep oh, I killed one of my own doggies. His name. Oh my god. And they take away his battery too. That's like the weapon usage. If you have none, you can't fire your weapon. So and, and they they kind of slow him down a little bit too. He's got a faster version of his ship, so he can get away. All right, come here, Teddy. Where are you going? And when he's in his and when this guy's in his fast ship, uh, he has like. Homing missiles. This is actually Teddy's doing really, really well. Oops. Until I hit the planet. Then not so much. Get him, doggies. Oh my gosh. All right, now they've got him locked in. So he's gonna have trouble transforming. No. Oh. That was a good hit. Got him. Uh. And my doggies are still out there. But you took my my Chinjensu ship way down, and that mm -hmm. is like one of the best ships. Try and catch me now, doggies. What do you got? Oh, you got the Erlu? This is gonna be a short battle. The smallest and weakest ships are my favorites. Really? The Erlu is like super fast, and it has an auto laser, and it can hyperspace. So if you see this ship jumping around, that's oh. what that is. I tried to shoot you and then go on the and then teleport. Uh, this is the Umga ship. So this has oh once they get hold once they get hold of you, it goes really fast backwards. That's its secondary. Oh now you have issues. It's kind of weird because this ship's battery all like becomes one bar at once. Does that make sense? Oof! I almost hit the planet. Like all all of its battery charges at once instead of like recharging over time. What causes that? I don't know. It's they also look kind of weird. And when you run out of crew there on the left side, that's when your ship dies. Got a little, got a little pepper on you there. Got a little hit. But you'll see, like this ship is outlasting lots of Teddy ships because this is a tough ship. So sometimes you hope that you have a, like a mediocre ship and you can wear down. Oh, that was close. You were coming in. Guapi didn't do good enough. We hardly knew you. Okay, now this ship, all it does is self-destruct. It also has a little blaster. Little blaster. This is the show fixty. Tanaka. All right, come here, you. When you play in the campaign and you find this guy, he's actually the only one in this species. Yeah. Well, uh, have you completed his quest? 
No. I'm nowhere close to finishing the game. You should do it. This is one of the best games for story. This, oh, get away from me. Oh, you got me. Okay, so it took, a, it took a you a few ships to finally take my Chin Gen 2 out. So, the other really good ship is this one. Dun, 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 dun. Do you have both those in your fleet? Uh, we have this. Oh, my God. Oh, it's going to be a terrible battle. This so, ship is hard to control. It always goes forward. You can't stop it from going forward. All right, come here. You. It's also kind of hard. I, I'm the one, by the way. I should explain. I'm the one on the right of your screen right now. Good luck trying to figure this out. He's on the top, and I'm on the bottom. I'm the one with the less crew. So this guy doesn't regenerate battery at all, but the only way he can is to use his secondary while near an asteroid. These are our application materials. Oh, you pushed me into the planet. That was a good move. That that was that was an insane fight. That, that, and that ship in the campaign is hard to deal with. So I won. I don't know if you can tell. And now Teddy has a spathy ship. It looks like an atom. Yeah, when kinda. they come up to you to talk to you, they're, they're like, now I'll kill you. What, the Cylandros? Yeah, they're like, that planet priority came up override. Uh-oh. Little... Teddy's got a missile that fires out the back of the ship. It's called the butt missile. It's literally what it's called. It is? Yep. I think the spathy called the ballistic missile. Yeah, the B-U-T-T -T missile. Ballistic. Oh, got me. Spathy's one of the first ships that you encounter in the campaign. You, I mean, you actually find them... Spoiler, you find them in the... Uh, oh, gosh, we got the same ship again. So I'm the one on the right here. And Teddy's the one on the left side. Oh, I hit myself with a missile. You see that? I do that a lot of times when I play this game. So I'm on the right right now, coming in. But We're trapped. We've never seen this before. Okay. They, we they, got stuck there, together. There you go. Come here, Teddy. We were we were to record the You've gotten good at this. We were to record the uh other version of this, like the sequel that's that the fans made, but Yeah, what's it called? Project sixteen oh nine? Project six thousand fourteen. Six thousand fourteen? It doesn't have full it bugs out when it when it does full screen. Yeah, it's got issues. This video has been brought to you by Audible.com. If you say it enough times, maybe they'll pay you. Do you want advertisers on Game Kids? Oh, that's good. That was two or three really solid shots. You're in orbit around the planet. Be careful. Oh, I got the Iroquois ship. Okay. So Teddy's in trouble. Because I can do, I can fire a big blaster. Just, just kill me. I'm the, oh, what are you doing? You hit the planet? Don't hit the planet. Don't hit the planet. Play for real. And then I have these little fighters, which are, they'll chase him down. I have to use a crew to, to send him out, but then they'll also come back to my ship as long as they don't get killed, which he's already killed like two or three of them. But the blaster on this thing is serious. Like if, oh, those are good hits. See, you were going to kill your ship, and you've already taken, like, some chunks. Oh! Oh! This, uh, and this green ship is the big villain in, in the uh, game. These people called the Korra, call them cause the Kasurza. Launch fighters. Eh, got him. So the fighters just, like, home in on them. You'll see them coming in here. They'll redock with my ship. I think. There they go. Um, and then I get them back. Oh, no, this is bad news. All right, how can Get them. Get him. Oh no. I gotta outrun yours. Yep. Oh no. Get off me. Yeah, I'm gonna wear. Oh. Goodbye, world. Wow, that was a good battle. I didn't do any damage. To we, didn't, we didn't even use our blasters on that one. So that was a... Oh, this is bad news for me. That's a good ship. I don't really use the dogs on this one. So this is the good, the best good guy ship. You don't really use the dogs? I can't get away The with best it. good ship in the campaigns is the Chimur Avatar. No, no, no. Wow. <laughs> Those are two good ships that just went down your fleet. How you feeling? Bad. You feeling bad? Mm -hmm. I feel bad. So this is a ship, this is a siren ship. She can do a secondary, which lets, oh, see these little green dots? You probably can't see them on your screen, but that's my crew coming off. She can call off my crew and then she picks ha, them ha, up. Ha, ha. All right, get out of here. No, no, no. 
That was a your men you're killing. Yeah, I know, but I can't get them back, so. I'm literally down to like right. last two crew members. Oh. Wow. I have one crew member. See, with the big ships, you just want to try to wear them down if you can. And there's, I mean, the, the, this game is not really, like, this came from an air, oh, wow. So that ship is, it something shoots you, out. Something you don't find in the campaign. It shoots out energy bubbles, and it can turn into a comet, and then you can use it to ram it. So I really don't have any really good ships left. Good. Here's my umga. So I have now my umga, which goes really fast backwards. I think it's pronounced umga. Umga, and then it makes a uh, energy cone, which is actually pretty good against this guy. Oh, no. Oh, if I can get you in that cone, you're dead meat. Yeah, that's the bubbles are too erratic to block. They go around. It's actually like custom made to kill that ship. So good job, Teddy. All right, I'm hoping for my fungus dude. Okay, this is the Earthling ship. It fires like homing nukes. That was a good shot. And then it has a like a defense laser as its secondary when when something gets in close. Wow, that was bad. Oh. Oh. What convenience. Yeah, Teddy can only stay in, in comet form up until His he runs battery out of runs battery. Out. Wow. That Wee. ship has been plaguing me. You're good with that comet mode, dude. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, this is like uh, the Klingon ship, basically. It fires uh, flames out the front of it, and then the big deal about it is that it can cloak. Yeah, but you can't see where you're going. You can't tell how close you are based on based on how... Except its flamethrower is super effective. Yeah, if, you get, if, I, if I can get the flames on you, it's rough. Zogak. Wow. So that's the fungus ship that Teddy just used. It shoots out these big fireballs that slowly home in on you. Did and the secondary is he can use all of his battery power to regenerate crew. Again? Oh, look what happened here. I'm the one on the left. You got a full battery. See, so Teddy can regenerate crew. I think I think I do something with something they believe called Jeff Nope. Oh, get away from me. I cannot run that, can I? Nope. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Dun, 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 dun. Any, every alien race has their own like theme song it plays. All right, so he has the Klingon ship. It's actually what, uh, Ilrath, right? Yeah, Ilrath. Also, this is one of the first enemies you encounter in the game. Ah, great. Uh, oh, take that. Uh, uh. Where are you? Uh. No, you hit the planet. This is actually the first enemy you battle, I think. Yeah, he's one of the first ones you run into. By the beloved uh, gods. Oh, this is actually my favorite ship. By the beloved gods. This is the Yehot. He's got a double blaster, but he's really, like, really maneuverable ship, and he's got a shield, too. Yehot's gonna catch you. No. I got, I got out of that exchange pretty good. No. Had a little bit of tacky shield there. Ooh, that was close. Oh, you're gonna win. Wee. That's my shield. Showing off my shield. Oh, Yeha versus Yeha. It's gonna be bad. We're the same speeds. So there's nothing gonna be done here. Oh, I tried to get out of there. I, that was a good turnaround. You had like your lasers like in such a way that I couldn't get so to you. so many ships. Oh, show fixed -y. This is just self-destruct that he's got. It hit the secondary three times, so I took Teddy down to one guy. I almost blew him I'm up. your makers. Oh. No. I'm, I'm gonna lose this. We do with like best of five ships. Nope. Wow, that was a big win. You only had one dude. I tried to get away and I couldn't. <sighs> this is gonna be tough. Don't you dare. Oh, how'd you? You shielded oh. it just the right, oh wow, that was crazy. You hit your shield at just the right time. Du -du 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 -du. Oh, this is gonna be tough. This is the exact opposite of the battle we had earlier. I don't know. You're better with the comet than I am. Like, I see that? I just went all around you. Oh, battery regenerates painfully slow on this guy. Wow. Gotcha. Get in here. Yes. 
Dun, 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 dun. Okay, you can pick now. You can pick the. Okay. I had three. I had two ships left, but the the two ships I had were not great ships. The sirens okay. The Vox is All like right. the worst. This ship. is a class. This is a star control one battle. I'm the yeah 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 hot. Or the hot. He's the hot. I'm the spathy. Oh, so <laughs> gun. Nice. That's why I tried to stay away from you. All right. So now I am the. I'm the fungus ship. I'm the Mycon. This one's actually pretty tough to beat the Yehot with, because the Yehot can time the shield. Jeffa, what is up? What do you say? Life. <sighs> it's close. That fireball is much stronger when it's right up next to, right after you fire it. It loses. Wow, look at that. It's a homing plasmoid. So we got two two homing ships going here. Oh, no. oh that's a good shot. Get in there. Get him. Oh, no. Got him. Come on, Kirk. And then sometimes you can use the planet to, like, pull some advanced maneuvers. Oh, I can still hit you. Oh. All the names of the Earthlings are, like, famous. Yeah, all the all the names of the Earthling ships are, like, that's Kirk piloting this one. It's all, like, famous uh, sci-fi heroes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, go away. That ship is, the cloaking is really tough against those missiles because they can't lock onto me when I'm cloaked. So, oh, bad luck for that guy. All right, got slingshot off the planet. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was fast. That's a good, that's a really strong ship. These ships are actually moved by the Tremor. All right. Ors aren't actually in the campaign at all. No. No. Get out of here. Oh, man. Oh, that was a solid shot. No, 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 no. You gonna fall onto the planet and die? All right, here we come. No. Oh, the umga. No, no. Almost. Pulled that backwards maneuver. Yikes. Oh, that was bad. So I still haven't had my Urquan come out. Buzz, yes. Oh, Vux. Z Zek. So Vux lets out little parasites. Uh-huh, that's And that. they get on your ship, and when they get on your ship, they, they can just like get like hundreds of them on your ship. They and slow then, you down, they reduce your turning. They're kind of like the doggies, but they never, they, there's no way once nope. they get them on your ship. It's still worth it if I get the parasites on him because he'll keep them for the next battle. There we go. Now he's got a couple on him, now he's doomed. I can't turn at all. It just gets harder and harder. And I can just load them up. Yeah. You can actually see them. Oh! Can I fly by your ship so people can see how many you have on you? No, just look at the- Oh, yeah, yeah, they show up on your display. You can't move. And I can get around the back of him, yeah. New one in there. Oh my gosh, how am I missing you? All right, so that was a good that was a good battle for the Bucks. Although, oh my gosh, you got a lot of ships left. Ugh, it's gonna be so hard to get parasites on the Erlu. If I can get a couple, though, I'll be in good shape. Yeah, not gonna happen. That ship is fast. Wee. All right, I gotta take out a lot of ships with my Urquan. But if I, Ugh. if there's one ship that can take out all the other ships, it's this one. Oh, that was a great teleport. How did you make it through that swarm of fighters? Oof. Wow, Teddy, you're, you're. Uh -huh. I'm almost hitting the planet every time too. Gotcha, oh. wow. That was a nice shot. Yeah, thanks bud. That was, uh, that was, that was a, you did great in that battle. Oh, I uh, this is not gonna be good. Narm, harm, harm. It's actually harm, harm. Yeah, you can outrun these, the, my fighters. Ooh. Got gotcha you on the flyby. Oh, that's it. Good game, Teddy. Thanks. Classic Star Control 1 ships. Do you like playing Star Control? Yeah. Yeah? Oops. All right, well, Teddy, thank you for playing Star Control 2 with me. Thanks for letting me win the first game and then handily beating me in the second game. So. You're welcome. All right. Bye. Bye, everybody.
Okay, Teddy, what are we going to do? We're going to play some two-on-two, or we're going to play some three-on-three? Three-on-three, I guess. Let's do it, man. All right. And we are missing JD. JD's at a birthday party. So uh, Teddy and I are loaded up some Rocket League, and we're going to kill it.